Good morning and welcome to Crafters TV this fine morning or afternoon wherever you are. This is our wake up call show with me Debbie Robinson not our Craig Lard who is absolutely having the time of his life back up in Scotland. But you've got me today and tomorrow and honestly we've got a great shows planned throughout the day for you. So we've obviously got the wake up call now and I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in a moment but we've also got our launch day at 3 p.m. UK time and I am super excited about this one because I am launching this at 3 p.m. UK time, <laughs> 10 a.m. Eastern time um, and 7 a.m. Pacific time where we're going to be launching the brand new Sarah's signature. I've actually wrestled the boss to the floor this time and she's let me launch this one which is the gorgeous farmhouse collection and I'm going to show you a little bit more about that coming up later. Now also we've got later on tonight at 7 p.m. UK time, 2 p.m. Eastern time or 11 a.m. Pacific time we have got our launch party show where we've got lots and lots of goodies on there for you too and a little special guest because we've got totally Tiffany she's actually dialing in and we're going to be speaking to her live via zoom uh, with some brand new goodie bags oh should I say buddy bags and I'm, I'm really excited about that one as well but I, I am not here alone today I have got a couple of extra special guests I've got coming up joining us later via the modern technology known as zoom and I've got my very dear colleague uh, our lovely Sarah Elliott and a dearer friend I can't wait to join for her to join us later on in this show so she's going to be joining us later on but i am not here on my own and it isn't the guest that i thought was going to be here this morning so it's not our lovely ben i have got it's the yorkshire it's the yorkshire tribe it's the yorkshire posse we're back in the house together and i've got our gorgeous george with me today so good morning george yes good morning debbie how are you, you i'm good? fine thank you very much very Absolutely. good yes i'm back they've let me back in the building i'm doing something right i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> but I've, I've done something right but i'm back in the building loads of comments coming in loads of good mornings we've got loads of comments uh good morning from ottawa canada uh, good morning from Virginia and my wow. favourite Crafty AJ from Blackburn <laughs> yes good morning to you keep it coming in remember you can always get in touch usual places Instagram Facebook Twitter YouTube and don't forget we've got loads of deals coming up for you as well including a little bit of craft vault and of course the get it got it good deal what is that let's have a look at our get it got it good deal here it comes well this is yours you can walk away with this an absolutely fantastic little caddy storage essential tools you're getting all of that look at that the scissors the metal ruler the tool and that little paper dispenser built in there the pokey out tool scissors all can be yours look at that price at 29.99 you are buying the caddy tool and you get everything that you saw there absolutely free that is absolutely fantastic so make sure you are getting that right Debbie, what have you got I hear You have got some previews for us today. Oh, now, can I, can I get a little bit excited? Can I I'll get a bit of a whoop whoop? Because whoop, whoop. honestly, oh, thank you very much for sound effects, George. All right, I'm really excited for the launch. I have got the launch of this, so I'm really excited. It's our latest collection from the Sara Signature range, which is our farmhouse collection. Now, actually, I keep saying the Sara Signature range. It's a nature's garden. What's up with me, Debs? I think, do you know what though? Can I just tell you why? It is big enough to be a Sarah signature range. This is a mega bundle and it's coming to you today. Look at that price. £140 for the entire collection there or $170. Look, I've had to take them specs off again to read it because I can't do it that close up. I'll pop them back on now. <laughs> but we have got the most amazing collection. Come and have a look at some of the samples and then I'm going to walk you through those boards so that you can see what you're actually getting. These are just excellent exquisite and this nature's garden collection really truly is the most beautiful beautiful designs on it it's a real good old farmhouse feel to this and there's lots of lovely things that you can do with it with the elements that are in this from embossing folders to stamps and dies we've got beautiful papers uh, we've got some gorgeous sentiments in there that's a beautiful one with the family blessings we've got the cutest little bunnies you ever did see uh, so this is really a fabulous collection now that's some of the samples that I've just shown you do you want to actually see 
some of the things that you're getting. Yes. Come on, let's have a look at this. Now, I'm going to start with this first one. Look how fabulous these are. I just love them. They remind me of an iconic show that we have here in uh, uh, England, which is our Coronation Street. Do you remember yes. Hilda's Wall, the yes. background roll? They just remind me of them, but I absolutely love these. And this is what you've got. You've got a selection of stamps that have got corresponding dies so that you can cut them out. And then you've got lots of other extra elements on there to be able to create some really really beautiful uh, cards projects or deco pieces and um, I love an old truck look at this one <laughs> absolutely fabulous and again you've got the stamps and they've got the corresponding dies to be able to cut out you've got the beautiful cute little bunnies on there and there's lots of extra embellishments down to sentiments and things like that to be able to add to. Now, we're not done because we've got more in this collection. Now, let me just take you through this one. This is absolutely fabulous. Again, you can see these beautiful elements, all those gorgeous florals, that vase where you can literally build up a scene and create something. And again, extra embellishments on there with those uh, sentiment stamps too. Um, I think I've lost a die off there, George. No. I think, I've, I think I've dropped a die off there. I think it's on the floor, but I'll, I'll get that sorted before later on today. It's a steam <laughs> off your glasses. That's what's doing <laughs> it. <laughs> it's very warm. Do you know, to say it's actually pouring it down with rain outside, it is red hot in here. It's very humid in here today. So, yes, if, I've, if I'm steaming up, please excuse me. Although it could be because these, these are just red or absolutely <laughs> off the price. Brilliant stamps that we've got here. And again, just take a look at all these beautiful designs. Your gorgeous bunnies down at the bottom. Look at them all lined up there. Absolutely beautiful. You've got some geese and ducks and things like that. Little chickens on there. I just think this is really really a beautiful collection um, of lots I mean it just it just screaming out that lovely farmhouse country feel and again look at this set of I love her I just think this this is me this is, is me. yes I want to I want to be dressed like this that's a, with my hair in those yeah. rollers absolutely love these and again you've got a house on there you've got your uh, florals on there you've even got a pair of welly bobs as we say in good old Welly days. Bobs. Yes. Welly Bobs. Yeah, absolutely. Now, in the collection as well, no collection would be complete without embossing folders. So I've got this gorgeous wood grain one here. And again, take a look at that one. Take your inks, lots of different ways that you can do from your letterpress techniques, just add some ink, add your gilding waxes and things like that. That's one of the uh, embossing folders. But we thought, no, we'll put, we'll put a couple of those in there as well. So you've got this beautiful, floral, uh, gorgeous design. It's like a wreath design. Absolutely beautiful. We've got things like sentiments in here as well. So I'm going to bring you some sentiments in. These are fantastic. And again, a really lovely, warm feel about these. That family blessings that you can see there. We've got thank you in this one. And then we have you are loved. And you certainly are, George. Oh, We're wow. loving having having you Thanks. here absolutely loving having you here Stop so it. they're the sentiments in there but we're not done because there's also i mean what collection of late would not be without a wax seal kit now i oh, love a good old wax seal kit these are beautiful you've got two colors in there and two different designs where you've got your floral and you have your bird on there as well so really beautiful wax seal kits and then also we have got six by six papers come and have a look at these beautiful papers they're absolutely gorgeous look at the designs all the way through there not just for this collection these papers could be used in many other ways as well that you have you know your crafty stash gorgeous set of six by six papers not to be outdone though because we've gone bigger We've got the wow. 12 by 12 as well. We like so it. everything is all in there, your 12 by 12 papers. And let me just tell you one other thing. I'm saying one other thing. There's actually, there's loads in this mega bundle. We've got the most beautiful vellum that is, I mean, just come and look at this vellum. It is absolutely glorious. That beautiful, um, lovely translucent feel through this. And again, matching all the designs that are in the, um, in the papers, in the paper pads. But we've We've also got a set of textured cardstock and you can see the matching colours, let me bring that there so you can see all these matching colours work beautifully together with those papers so that you can do your perfect matting and layering. You can use them for um, you know, lots of things where you want to stamp onto them and colour them but we're still not done. George, what? we're still There's not done. We're still going. Give all this, this is a mega, mega bundle. Do you know you see why I'm getting confused? Why I thought this was a sort of a signature collection. This nature's garden collection is probably one of the biggest that we've ever done. And it's absolutely beautiful. Again, you can see this gorgeous um, box 
here and I yep. say box just look how gorgeous that is it's like That's a little beautiful. envelope where you can put little gift things in there seeds, seeds. Yes. I was thinking, yeah on the same page there we'll George go, you've go got your seeds in there you've got frames we've got stamps and you've got matching dice to be able to cut out more sentiments on here as well uh, again just a fabulous collection but last but not least um whew, God, I need a little bit of a minute for you to, to, to calm down with this one. You've got these beautiful uh, die-cut toppers. Absolutely fabulous. And again, loads and loads to add. And those extra embellishments that you want to do just to finish your projects off. Now, look at this. This is huge. This is a huge, huge collection from our nature's garden. And it is all about that far farmhouse. And it really, truly is very, very beautiful. I lo absolutely love it. Now then, that is going to be our launch day at 3pm UK time with me and the gorgeous Ben, who's listening in our ear <laughs> as we're through the show. Uh, so yeah, he's going to be here with me and we're going to be launching these together. Now then. We've also got another show lined up for tonight, which is our launch party. Now, we've got lots of things on the launch party. This is just one of the elements that we've got on there. Now, you can see, and I'm going to have to do this again, George. Go on, wipe just so I can see this. Wipe it. <laughs> wipe it away. <laughs> so this is our brand new shaped words that our Sarah, I think, I want to say she launched them at the back end of last week. I think it was the 21st, last Friday, when Sarah launched these. So we've got them on the launch party show tonight at 7pm UK time. And somebody's going to have to whisper the, thank you very much, Johnny, 2pm <laughs> Eastern time. And did you say 11? <laughs> 11 and specific times I'm saying specific Pacific time <laughs> so yeah we've got the lovely shaped words now you can see the price there what an incredible price for the whole collection and I say the whole collection there's lots of elements here there's metal dies and stencils to this it's 80 pounds 95p or 90 dollars 75 so let me show you what you're getting in these now these really are I think they're like from the creator wow. card range these yes. are absolutely fabulous where you have got the die two-piece die that creates the back backdrop to create your beautiful cutout word and then the inner part as well to create that solid word so that you can do all that decoration so that's your happy then we have thanks and again these are big statement cards nice. absolutely fabulous i, I love, love them. these they're yeah. gorgeous really fantastic concept and it doesn't need to say anything at all because it's all written down for you in this form so we've got friend on there we've got love the word love I just love this one <laughs> and in that pun but it's absolutely beautiful um, and then we have hello depends how you say that depends what age you are as well to what, what, which one you're going with I'm going with the Lionel Richie version hello. you probably are going with the Adele version no I'm going with Lionel Richie would you go with the Lionel yeah, Richie yeah a bit well? of Lionel you can't Hello. beat him. You just can't beat him. So they are your dies to create the words, but then you've got these matching stencils. Now, stencils for me are going to work beautifully with these, but they're also going to be something that you come to use time and time again in your mixed media projects. You can take inks through them, texture paste, glitter paste, loads of different things and mediums that you can use these through. So these are your stencils. Now, this is your stars stencil. So that's your stars. Then we have the beautiful uh, part stencil then you've got the love and I love, this one's actually one of my favorites I love the leaves just beautiful yeah, nice. absolutely gorgeous you've got the um, zigzag stencil as well or the, is it called the rickrack or zigzag yeah, I think it's called Rick Rack, isn't it? Yeah, I thought it was. <laughs> then you've got the circles. I love the circles. That's the fabulous one. And as if that's not enough, we've actually thrown some stamps in there too. No way. So you've got all these extra stamps to add to your cards um, and to your, you know, to your projects. Absolutely fantastic. A great bundle. £80.95 or $90.75. Incredible. And I am now going to hand over because let me just tell you, you thought these are incredible. We have got the most amazing craft vault deals yes. that I'm now going to let George tell you all about. Absolutely. Before I get to those craft vaults, a lot of love for what I've just shown. They're coming up, remember, those farmhouse. A lot of love. Loads of people ordered them already, and they, uh, Aisha said, this is perfect for all you modern farmhouse decorators. They are. And uh, as we're saying hello, shall we say hello to our wonderful gallery team? Shall we say hello? Right, I can hear them like, running around trying to get to the microphone ready. Right, we've got the wonderful producer, Johnny. Good morning, Johnny. Good morning. And we've got the wonderful, she's always happy. It's a lovely director, Charlotte. Say hello, Charlotte. Hello. Aww. 
And we've got a special director, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> He comes all the way from down south. Wonderful Ben's in the gallery. Hello, Ben. Hello. Hello. I'm not, I don't know what accent was that. Was that going to be northern? That was a beautiful accent. What is he like? Yes, they're in the gallery. And not only that, there's a lot of love for your top. Oh. People are loving the top, Debbie, especially oh. Ben. Ben did like the top this morning. He did love it. Now, as we said, it is Craft Vault. We've got some very special deals indeed. Loads of your Spectrum Noir Aqua Blend pencils. Loads of Spectrum Noir. Look at these amazing Aqua Blend pencils. Priced at £14.99, $19.97. Look at those. Special for your watercolours and all those colours working together across the bottom. You can see them then. And half price. What's that? Half price and half the stock has already gone. You are loving it this minute. This is an amazing deal. 50% off on that. That is brilliant. So make sure you are getting those in your basket. And if you are looking at them going, I don't know how to do those. Don't worry. We're not going to leave you hanging. The wonderful Debbie is going to show us how to use these, Debbie. Oh, and these probably are one of the simplest and easiest colouring mediums to use to create beautiful watercolour effects. And you're going to absolutely love them. I'm just going to say, George, honestly, yeah. I'm flabbergasted at that price. She's I flabbergasted. Did say, I did say to you at the beginning, yes. I said to you, I can't believe we've got all these products. These products that aren't products that we're, you know, we're getting rid of or discontinuing. These are products that we have on our website day in, day out. It's our Spectrum Noir brand, which are just phenomenal. So to get them at that price today, if you've never tried these, and we've actually given you the most amazing colours. This is the floral set, and it is beautiful. You've got, and I've, I've taken mine out. You've got this beautiful presentation, Tim. But what I'm going to tell you all about these is that these are going to give you the most gorgeous watercolour effects with ease and i say with ease yeah i was a doubter at the beginning before i started i was a real doubter i'm thinking there's no way i love the idea of watercoloring but i just can't achieve those looks these pencils are absolutely artist quality and i always call them at craft affordable prices look at that price today that's just wow it absolutely blows me away now come and have a look at them so you've got this array of beautiful um pencils here and i'm just gonna let me move them there so you can see them all and your colors you can see those gorgeous florals you've got your pinks your oranges your yellows blues running through to your purples into your pinks and into your paler pinks there as well now these are a formulation of rich pigment um, pencil absolutely beautiful colors and i'm just going to show you just how easy it is to use yes please. and i'm going to de talk about the demystification the what that's a big word isn't it i'm uh, i'm i'm demystifying is it mis demystifying is that the right demystifying. word demystifying demystifying the art of watercoloring because they're so super super easy to use and i'm going to show you you get your pencil right and what i'm I literally let me grab some water yeah let me get a bit of water i've got a little bit of tissue here as well i've got myself a little brush um might be a little bit mucky though, George, but we'll, we'll get away with it. But I'm just going to show you by just laying down a little bit of that colour down on there and then taking my brush. And you want a damp brush. You don't want a soaking wet brush. You, oh, <laughs> we're not using that one. That. <laughs> right, hang on a minute, let me... It's like outside, that's <laughs> drenched. <laughs> Um, Debbie hasn't clearly uh, cleaned that one, uh, George. <laughs> She's not cleared that one from when she used it last. Uh, right. So you're just going to dampen that brush, but literally, when you take that onto there, it literally just moves and demystifies and emulsifies is probably the right word to use. I'm going to get another deeper colour so that you can see this and how easy and simple these are to use look how gorgeous this one is now you could take things like um your water brushes yep. so this is a water brush and again if you're just taking a water brush this is from spectrum noir range so i'm just showing you different ways that you can use these but can you see how literally that just emulsifies that it literally easy. gives you that gorgeous gorgeous color now you've got a set of 24 here but you can also do things like, um, I'm saying 24 pencils, if you talk about your colours, mixing your colours up. Right. So what would happen if we used a um, blue yep. and a yellow? What, what colour would we get there, George? We would get green. <laughs> Yeah. So I'm going to put this down. I had to think I'm about gonna... it. I'm not going to lie. Like, <laughs> it went to trick question, yeah, yeah. George, I promise. It I'm went good. to trick I'm question. <laughs> but when you just simply pop... Oh, okay. I think I might have gone purple there, actually. Would we get the same results? Let's have a look. Oh, we've got a different result, Ooh. actually. Quite like a 
another one. That's quite a nice like um, olive. vintage looking. Yeah. yeah, vintage looking green there. But you can see you can actually mix your colours together, which it just means we talk about 24 pencils. But what are the possibilities here when you talk about mixing your colours up? Absolutely fabulous. And again, I'm just going to take a very quick image. And I've just taken one of the lovely Lee Holland cute, nice. cute ones. Very cute. Can I also tell you as well, George, yes. if you own a clear overlay glitter pen, now that I've done all those techniques there, just rubbed up onto there. Let me just turn that over for a second. I'm going to get another one. Let me get another dark. I want to get a really dark blue so I can show you. So let's go down with this beautiful blue again. Or purple. Or blueberry. <laughs> bit of, bit of blueberry. both. Blueberry. You take this and you can use it because it acts as a water brush. But it's a water brush with a bit of sparkle. So when you start to use that, what you've actually done is given that lovely watercolour, and I'm still going, you can see how much I'm getting out of that, but you get a lovely sparkle to oh, it as well yeah. because this acts as a water brush. So again, there's lots of things that you can do with these. And of course, you can do a little bit of colouring. Yeah. One of my favourite things is to actually have a little palette. So pop a bit of colour down. So I'm going to pop a few colours just onto here. Let's go with a, a few different ones. And just ask a question, Debbie. That paper, it can be... What kind of paper are you using there? Now, that is, a, that is a really good question, George. And thank you for asking it That's because, right. again, I've just assumed that everybody knows. Now, this is a water-based product and you need to use a water colour cardstock so the one I'm using is watercolour because these are water based as in that the fact that you take water to them to do the colouring medium with to create right. that lovely watercolour effect they're fully water soluble these and you do get really beautiful blending and covering coverage with no staining or anything like that as well so I'm going to pop a few more colours down onto there and I'll show you what I'm going to do next because sometimes I don't know if you want to go out and about but you don't want to carry everything with you yes what you can do is you can take a sheet of card pop a few colour palette and I say a few colours down onto there let's put a few more let's have a go with a, a nice deep um oh that bit same red that I've just had actually Never mind, never mind, we'll just keep on going, we'll keep on going, let's have a, let's have another look at this gorgeous one here, let's take this one. I'm going to also show you as well, George, for mm -hmm. sharpening and things like that as well, so, right. but first of all, put all my colours down there, so if you don't want to take all your pencils out with you, you can simply take a sheet out and take your water brush and you can use this as a little colour palette. So you go in and pick up the colour and then start to paint wow so if you didn't want to take everything out with you yeah. you don't have to i love them I just, honestly you will I, 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 honest we're not gonna have to get your crafting george i know have to get your i can do some really soft are. crafts i can do some soft crafting i do make some Ooh. costumes i know i don't like to brag but i can make some costumes and stuff um but eleanor schwing jones i love her name it reminds me of the film um, wayne's world schwing um <laughs> these pencils are fun to watercolor and are the best to use i love them oh, I, they are brilliant and at this price at 14.99 19 dollars 97 this is, I know it's, a, I know it's April, and please don't shoot me, but it's a perfect Christmas gift for a younger friend yes. or, you know, to get, the, if they're into colouring and into their art and starting their crafting, this is a perfect introduction to start doing that now. Yeah, and, and they really truly are. And again, I mean, look how quick I'm doing this. Do you know the yeah. shading and blending that you have to do with an alcohol marker can sometimes get, you know, get you in a bit of a flap? Um, not with these. You just simply go in and I'm just adding, can you see just by yes. taking this up, I'm just taking that, that shade and dimension and mixing a few of the colours up as well, but I'm creating that very simply and very easily. Honestly, George, when I first heard about these, I was like, oh no, they're a bit, a bit scary. I don't think yeah, I can do yeah, it. Yeah. But I've always wanted to try it, you know, I've always wanted to try it. Um, and then we had um, our lovely um, Leanne. We did a little bit of training with Leanne a couple yeah. of years ago. And oh, honestly, pr properly, when I knew how to properly use them, literally blown away with them. And I absolutely adore them. How quick and easy was that, that to put it's down? So simple. And it and looks it, like it's been it printed. Really, it really truly is. And it's, you know, they're so, so easy to use. You can see I've got another colour palette here with nice. different colours wow. on. This is what I do. I just take these colours and literally just have a little play with them. But you can colour so quickly and so easily with them. And if you want to do things like, so we'll go around with that blue. I'll not take the blueberry. I think I'll go with... What colour is that one? Let's have a look. Because they've all got the names on there as well. So you've got um, every single pencil has got a name printed at the bottom of them. Um, I'm going to go for one of the blues, dog. Oh, is aubergine blue? Or eggplant? No, it's a bit more. A bit more yeah, eggplant for our American viewers. 
Uh, I tell you so, what, I'm going to go in with that one. But okay. all I'm going to do is I'm just going to scribble a little bit down right. around the outside because you can create your own little background as well. So imagine all that's coloured in at the moment. Yep. Let's just pop a little colour down. And you can go as heavy or as light as you want, depending on the look that you want to achieve. But honestly, so super easy to use. And can you see I'm not really being very precise, very no. neat or anything like that. I'm just literally laying down the colour. And I'm going to take my water brush again. Oh, <coughs> not with orange on, I'm not. So let me just get rid of my orange. There we go. Uh, and then just bring it out it draws that color out and it really is very very easy to do and i'm going to do one more technique that i think is going to blow your mind if you've never seen this before george because yep. you can do lots of different things with it being a water soluble uh, pencil there's lots of things you can do with it so i'm going to leave him to one side and color him in later because i want to i want to get this one in Just if i may before you put your palette away debbie yes terry on facebook i said good morning uh, debbie once your palette dries can you still use them when you've already put water on so i think once you've absolutely used, you can do it over and over again yeah? absolutely so when you look at my palette now and you can see my palette's got three little spots on there when you look at my palette I've got still all this to go but I can go back into that bit pick it up and you can start literally just pick that up and you've still got a little bit there oh let me just move that down a little bit George so I can yep. show you what I mean you've still got all this other coverage to be able to go on with as well so honestly it's absolutely fabulous and I've still got all this other palette to be able to use um and this one's one I've used quite a lot of because I put different colors from a different set that I'd got and you can see the areas that I've used I just yeah. lit literally start in the corner and work across so that's something that you can take with you if you don't want to take all your pencils out However, I'm going to show you this. I love this one. Let me get my craft knife. I had it out earlier. What did I do with it? It's here, George. It's here. Wasn't cutting so, the cake, was it? <laughs> no, it wasn't cutting cake. But um, have you ever heard of a technique called a confetti? No, confetti Debbie, I have not heard of a technique called confetti. Right. It's where you shave all your... Um, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where you take the shavings, that's it, the shavings of your pencil. Yeah. And I'm just taking... I've just taken a craft knife. You could do this with things like a palette knife. You don't have to have something as sharp as a craft knife. You can also use... And if I hope I've got mine with me, if not, please forgive, because I wanted to show you the... Um, oh, what did you do with pencil sharpener, Debs? I'll have to see if I can get a pencil sharpener. In fact, we might have to ask our lovely Jake if he's out and about, if he can grab me hold of a Spectrum Noir uh, pencil sharpener. But literally, this is just like shave... Taking the shavings off the side of your pencil. Yeah. That's the best word I'm looking for. But again, you could use something as blunt as a... Uh, na um, a, a palette knife and just yeah. take the side and just take those shavings onto the bottom. Now I'm going to mix a couple of colours up because this really is fabulous and I'll do it with this one as well. And it's just taking off, I'm not damaging the pencil, I'm just taking off those little tiny um, elements, tiny, tiny flakes, right. that's the right word, a flake. A flake. Tiny flakes, you have to be careful what you say. Debbie Fisher once said it live on TV and it went down a storm. You know what she's like. Yeah. <laughs> but no, it's just taking those tiny little pieces and just sh shaving those off yeah. onto a scrap of card. Let's go in with a yellow as well. So we're going to go down with a beautiful, um, gorgeous yellow. And again, you can see it all on there at the moment, can't you, George? Yeah. But loads of that down. Now, I have got a fan blowing, so I'm going to try and be careful with this <laughs> bit. Because, um, again, it's very, very warm. Very, very warm. Let me make sure I've got all those pieces back in there. I'm going to take a spritzer. Okay. So I've got a bit of spritzer. I've got all those little particles down on there. And what I'm going to do is, now, I've got my spritzer, but it's full of water, this one, George. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this mixer onto those to create this lovely technique. What I'm not going to do, though, is go in really close because the air that comes out of the... Um, Spout. Right. <laughs> I can't yes. think of the word. Yeah. <laughs> if you do it too close, it blows all those bits all right. over the place. So I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to spritz it from high above. I'm actually just going to shield off the fan though, because I think if I do it. Oh! <laughs> 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 uh, just like that. <laughs> I think the fan blew it. Did you see that? For my but next trick. Come on, look at this. That does look good. Just take a look how gorgeous that is. It's like an explosion. It's like a galaxy, isn't it? It is. And what I'm just going to do, George, just so I can show you, is I'm going to grab my heat tool. Debbie, where is your heat tool? You had it girl? before. Is it, I do not have it before. Yeah, because I've been doing a few um, heat embossing uh, bits <laughs> earlier before the show. So I'm just going to dry this off. 
and then I'm going to show you just how gorgeous this is. So you've seen me use it as a watercolour, you've seen me drag out that colour with water to um, emulsify to create that gorgeous watercolour effect. Yep. You've seen me use a little bit of a palette on there as well, you've seen me mix a couple of the colours. Uh, and now you've seen me do a little bit of a technique with this as well, and this literally is absolutely glorious where you can make little backgrounds you could die cut in to this afterwards i'll be quite happy with that one for now so i'm just going to dab off that excess water around the uh, outside i'll get rid of all my shaved parts just on there uh, and then Sorry? you can see look how gorgeous that, that confetti uh, background is and like i said let that dry you could let it dry naturally if you wanted to but it's like a, they call it a confetti uh, background technique but it absolutely looks beautiful it's like a starburst of color but loads of explosion of color just by taking those extra pieces now i just want to just quickly explain because i don't think um, jake heard me bless him um because i can't find a sharpener but what i'm going to do is i want you to pretend my fingers are a sharpener right you'll just have to use this as the vid visual so i'm just going to explain normally how we do it when we're doing this is that we we turn as pencils yeah into our sharpener i don't want you to do that i want you to turn the sharpener so i want you to keep your pencil straight and i want you to turn the sharpener and move the sharpener to set so you can see i've kept my hand really straight the pencil straight and you just turn that to sharpen because if you turn and turn and turn and turn the pencil you're just weakening the lead inside and you don't want to do that and that comes with any pencil of any range not just the aqua blends our color blends right. our uh, metallic pencils any pencil your good old-fashioned pencil at home so you turn the sharpener to sharpen your pencil and it does make a difference believe you me so that's just debbie's little top tip there but i hope you've enjoyed a little bit of what you can do and is scratching the surface of what you can do with these fabulous pencils at the most amazing price we've ever done yeah. i'm not sure how long that price will last well debbie i'm not gonna lie to you 70 percent of that stock has already gone with them aqua blends so you make sure that you are getting them if they're in your basket click them out you are loving them this morning uh hannah's saying didn't have the aqua blend pencils but now I'm very tempted thank you for all the great tips i think debbie that demonstration you've just done has demonstrated to us exactly what can be done with them and sometimes when you buy something you go oh i'll just get that i'm not sure how to use it but that's the best thing about here is crafters tv we show you how to use the products just one little question on the technique you've just done it um from michelle once you've done that is there something you put over the top of the confetti to protect it or will it just dry and stay there uh, it will just dry so if you let it dry naturally yep. um it'll it'll dry like in a flake um but if you just dry it off like i've just done with the heat gun some of them might move around because uh, you've got that force of the heat coming out on there so some might move around when the water disperses it around however um, just let it dry naturally and they will stay on they're not coming off those flakes aren't coming off, Brilliant. they're staying there, so they stay into there because this is a water-soluble pencil you're using, that artist quality pigment in that pencil, so it ain't going nowhere, I promise. Thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely a lot of love for this technique. Remember, get those in your basket. Now, we've got some also little goodies for you here in Craft Vault. We've got these wonderful art liners. Look at these. You're getting, they are art liners there. They're black with six pens priced at £6.49. Half price. This is a great saving. Look at that. £6.49, $8.49. 47 half price you can also get those aqua water based markers they're nice and the bright colors love those colors rainbow colors i would say six pens priced at six pounds 49 wow that's that's hardly nothing and they're eight dollars and 97 half price and also from the spectrum uh, spectrum noir range you get the aqua tint water reactive brush pens you get the th shades of spring oh i love that shades of spring three piece six pounds 49 eight dollars 47 half price and of course we're not leaving it just there on this craft vault no 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 classic marker pens designed with 12 pens look at those colors with a chisel tip and the bullet tip there as well nine pounds 99 14 dollars 97 half price and you've just looked at some pencils we've got some more pencils for you color bend color blend color blend pencil shade and tone with 24 pencils 12 pounds 49 17 dollars 47 and is that it 
No, no, I'm telling you, there's more, there's more. Look, hang on. It's illustrated markers sketching with 12 markers. All those lovely shades there, beautiful shades. £12.49, $22.47. And, oh, I love these. I love this. Metallic pencils with 12 elements. We'll have a little look at these in a little while. £6.49, $7.47. And look at these. More metallic markers, antique elements with six markers. £5.99, $8.47. Love those those and what would crafting be without a bit sparkly eh? you get these wonderful sparkle glitter blush blush my brush pens you've started something now debbie autumn and winter with six markers look at these glittery pens 12 pounds 49 16 dollars 47 and don't forget we love them here on crafters tv try blend you're getting three pens you say six markers but actually you're getting 20 18 markers all together, did my maths there. £9.99, $14.97. And don't forget on that, if you are buying them, you're thinking, wow, then prices are cheap. Remember, if you are a member of Club Inspire, if you are Platinum Status, you're going to get an extra 20% off. That's what I love about it here. You don't just get, we don't just give you good deals, we then give you even further deals. Absolutely fantastic. So I think some of you today are going to be walking away with some bargains. Right. Enough of Spectrum Noir for the time being. Coming up a little bit later on, we're going to look at this farmhouse collection. And I'm very excited for this at 3 p.m. UK time, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard. But Debbie, let's have a little sneaky peek at this farmhouse collection. Oh, this really is a gorgeous collection for our nature's garden range. But worthy of a, sig of a signature range because it's such a big one. And it really is absolutely beautiful. It's just gives you that lovely warm feeling whenever I think of this collection really truly beautiful now I'm going to use I love this one enjoy the ride why not George enjoy Wait. the ride so enjoy a beautiful it. collection of stamps and dies on here as well so you've got this go I love the trick it's the, it's the pickup truck it I just is adore it I absolutely love it so you've got the stamps and then you've got all these extra pieces as well so you've got florals on there you've got the cutest little bunny rabbits you've got your pumpkin patch with your carrots and I mean I say pumpkin patch it's pumpkins carrots there's all sorts of different veg on there um, lovely florals and some nice little sentiments as well and then corresponding dies to be able to cut out so long gone are the days of doing your fussy cutting with this collection because you've got all those pieces uh, to use now literally all I'm going to do is I am taking a piece of cardstock and I'm going to stamp this I'm going to use a rocker block now because I'm going to be using some tri-blends and again wow is all I'm going to say about yep. the tri-blends wow 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 we have got those tri-blends on the show today at that fabulous price if you've never tried a tri-blend then maybe today is the day that you try that it is a one colour family in one pen with the three blends absolutely fabulous for seamless seamless colouring so I'm just going to give that a nice colour now because I am using alcohol pens always important make sure you use the right Right ink pad so that's the alcohol proof dye from our finesse range um, and again just using that I am going to stamp that image this is where you could do a bit of scene building with this yeah. though as well if you wanted to but again a really gorgeous I love the pickup truck I just think it's so lovely I adore it absolutely adore it so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my stamping platform for a second and then we're going to do a spot of colouring. Now, I've changed it up because I can't find the colour that I needed, which was the vintage blue. So I've had to go with my true blue for this one. But really, any colour, you're going to be able to use these. And the tri-blend are absolutely fabulous. I'll just talk about them quickly because yep. I, I know I've got them on lately, but we've, uh, later. But we've got three colour blend from your light to your medium to your dark of that same colour family. So when I talk about the colour family, there's a little marking on here. TB2, TB3. TB4, those lighter shades through to the darker shades, which means that you get that seamless colouring. And oh, just honestly, they are so, so easy to use. Now, I've got a little bit of blotting paper underneath mine, George. But yep. all I'm going to do is do a spot of colouring. I'm going to, and I'm only going to colour a bit into this because I have got one already finished. But I just want to show you how easy it is to lay it down that colour. It is really simple. I love the tricolour blend. It is. And it's just so easy. Oh, so, honestly, I can't, when I get asked this question ever such a lot, what's the best pens to start with when it comes to alcohol colouring? I will always tell you, 
always tell you the tri blends yeah. because you don't have to work anything out. So I've gone from the light colour and then I'm going to put where I think, where I think some of the shading would be. So I'm going to, oh, excuse me, I've just gone out, outside my line there. No. Oh dear. Debbie. Actually, if I, had me, um, if I had me blender pen, I'd be able to shove that back out. Let me see if I've got one in my bag. While you're looking for that, Debbie, how roughly is the is the uh, truck stamp, would you say? Someone's asking, Kathy's asking on Facebook. How, 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 what, sorry? Big, how big is the stamp, would you how say? How big is it? So, uh, uh, let's have a look. Let me get me a uh, little. I'll, I'll just use my glass mat. So it's roughly just over four and a half inches uh, by. In fact, let me get the stamp. It'll be easier, Debbie. What are you trying to do? Do it with picture. So let's have a look. Yeah. Oh, it's five inches. Five inches. So it's five inches by two and a quarter inches. That's a nice substantial stamp. That that really is a substantial stamp. So yeah, absolutely. Now, again, I'm just going to pull a bit of colour in here. I'm going in with my dark one. Then I'm going to go in with the mid one. And again, you get that lovely blend. Yeah. Just really, really simple. It's they're so easy to use. Margie's um, come up with a great idea to use these. To use the truck. Oh, come on, come on. Share. She said the truck would be great for Christmas cards for the famous red truck that people love. That one. Oh! I'm glad I'm that, I love that from that. That's how you go. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. The famous red truck. You know, the, the one with the thing. I don't know. Yeah, you know. I'm glad. You know what I'm talking about. I know yeah, yeah. what you're Thank talking you. about. It took a while though. I did. Dun, I'm not going to lie. It's only when you started with your jingle that I realised yeah. what dun, you were dun, talking dun, 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 dun. about. Because I was like, what's he on about? What, what, Clearly, what's everyone about? knew what I was on about. <laughs> Producer Johnny was like, yeah, if you want, George. Yeah, that, yeah. Oh, I get what you mean now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Started singing. <laughs> I'm available for weddings, parties, anything to sing, <laughs> jingles. I keep forgetting you've got a you've got a big background in uh, pantomime. I have. Yeah. I have. That's how I know our lovely Ben. That's how yeah. I know we were colleagues, and uh, we did panto together a few years back. I was a lovely dame, and he was king rat. Oh, and he did have an Arza as well, the baddie and Aladdin. He was. I've, have you not seen the pictures, Debbie? No. I'll, I'll show you the picture. And on uh, YouTube, there is some video somewhere of Ben singing. Yeah, if, you, uh, if you've got a spare three minutes and, you, you know, you appreciate a good sing song, have a listen. You can find it on YouTube. It's very good. Ish. It, it, it's all right. Hey, it passes dear. a bit of time. Now, this was the one that I coloured in originally. I was telling you, I got me... Uh, oh, that look at that. Wrong way around. I've done, I did it with, the, with not the true blue, because that was the one that I'm using at the minute, but this one was the um, vintage blue one that I used with the red and the uh, earth brown colour as well. And then I used a bit of black to colour in I those. I love that. But honestly, you just take your time. I mean, we're going to go in in depth more later when it's me and Ben later on. So we'll do a little bit more of that. We've also got on there a fabulous um, sentiments. So you've got family blessings. And when you cut it out, this is a really big sentiment. And I'll give you the measurement of this die. You just cut it into, twi uh, into two pieces. But we're talking uh, just shy of four inches by three inches. So it's a really nice big piece. And it does come separately. So do you know if you just wanted to use the family? You just oh, take that off and I use see. the family. If you just wanted to use the blessings, you could use the blessings oh, on its own as well. It. But obviously using it both together gives it a really lovely uh, message there. So again, I'm just going to bring in, I've taken some of the papers from that gorgeous paper pad. Absolutely beautiful paper pad. I'm just going to lay down my family. I'm going to lay down my blessings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lay down with family, lay down with blessings. I love that. Well, it's just, isn't it a gorgeous sentiment? Yes. It really is a truly beautiful sentiment. I'm going to take a little ink and I'm just going to ink around because that's the lovely thing about having uncoated uh, paper pads. It means that you can do things like this. Yeah. You can add that extra little um, dimension just by t taking a touch around there and literally it just lifts it without having to do much matting and layering. Um, are you getting used to all these terms, by the way, George? Yes, I'm learning. Yep. That's okay. I was just thinking no, that I, I might be speaking gobbledygook to you there. No, no, matting, uh, layering, I'm learning, I'm loving it. Fabulous, fabulous. So then we're going to pop that onto there. So I've got a little bit of mat and layering going off. Mat and layering. <laughs> so that's my family blessings done. Yep. I've got another piece. I mean, take a look at these. And these are double-sided, by the way. Double-sided papers. Look at the gorgeous bunnies there. And oh. the, the little ducks and the... Oh, just, We've uh, got honestly. a running theme of rabbit. We were talking about rabbits yesterday, weren't we? Because we did the, the stamps yesterday, the little rabbit. We, you know, yes. We talked about rabbits. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But can again... I, can I share my little pet story with you? Go on, share your I pet. I used to have a guinea pig 
and his name was Casper Jasper. And <laughs> he... I had a bunk bed, right? I was an only child, but I had a bunk bed, but I don't know why. And I, I was on the top bunk, and the, the guinea pig, the guinea pig was on the top bunk, and for whatever reason, he decided to dive off the bunk bed. He got stuck between the wall, and my mum, bless her, had to get that. He was stuck, but we had Artex, right? So <laughs> I, on my mum's hand now, she's got a scar <laughs> from when she cut her hand on the Artex to try and save Casper Jasper's life. Oh, he just like dived, he bombed off, he went, that's it. I am slightly stuck. worried, George, as to why you had a guinea pig on your top bunk. I'm not going to lie. I like to live life dangerous. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just thinking. Mm, Six years random. old. I was only child and I got a bunk bed, so I don't know. Aww. It's fine. I'm, not, I'm fine. I'm over it. It's fine. <laughs> now, to cut out the truck, don't forget you've got your dies. So you've got your dies that's cut out that truck to perfection. Like I said, I am going to go through this in more depth later. Yep. Uh, but I've got, me I've got literally now my backing paper. I've taken some more... Um, more textured cardstock from that textured cardstock bundle can I just say I'm not having to go around looking for matching colours because I've got them all there and it yeah. matches perfectly you can see that beautiful um, uh, design there of the bunny rabbits that matches this paper I mean this is the top this is quality we're talking about when yeah. it comes to this collection it really truly is so again I'm just going to use some um, all-purpose glue pop that onto the back and then I'm just going to pop that layer onto the top of my cards there we go and then literally i'm just going to give that a little burnish though i just want to get a little extra burnish there we go. burnish lady uh, you, you are. are indeed burnish. yes i'm gonna add my truck i've already pre-colored my little bunnies there as well um, i think i might have them sitting on the top as though they're going for a little ride let's grab some um foam pads for this though so Very nice. um, you can see where i've been uh, <clears throat> where i did a little bit of stamping and it went wrong you see it <laughs> happens to us all it Rather than waste, I just stamped it on the other side. Absolutely. Why not? <laughs> so again, I'm just going to put my truck just on there. And just by lifting, it gives it a nice little uh, 3D feel. But I'm going to do exactly the same with my little bunnies. Let's put them on the back. Let's sit them on the back of the truck. And let's sit on there, on the ledge there. There we go. And then literally just finish that off with my family blessings. And it really is. It's almost a shame to cover that back piece up. It is. But... There you Look go, a lovely like DL size, DL size card there uh, with me little, a little, I just love it, that pickup truck. Absolutely fabulous. I adore these, they're gorgeous. Really love this collection. It's brand new Nature's Garden. Our lovely farmhouse collection. Join us at 3 p.m. Me and Ben for the launch of this, where yep. we're going to talk about it non-stop all the way through. Demo, 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 demo. We're going to love it. I think you're going to love that. That's at 3pm UK time. Loads of people are loving those. Uh, Sean said I wasn't going to get any more crafty bits for a while. A sad emoji. But I just fell in love with this collection. Luckily, it's payday for me. Yes, you need to get those in. And loads of people loving the uh, little Christmas tree idea. I know it's April, but I think that'd be really good. Versatility is what we've got here. And Christine, she said, George, I'm glad you're back. I'm glad you're back, Christine. I'm glad you're here as well. Loads of lovely comments. Make sure you tune in a little bit later on with the wonderful Ben and Debbie. Loads and loads. And loads of love for that card as well. It's nice and simple. Now, in the studio, by the magic of technology, we are joined by a special guest and a friend of yours, I believe, Debbie. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm really excited about this bit because this is where I get to have a little bit of a chat. I can sit back and relax. Well, I say sit back, I can't because these chairs, if I did, my legs would be stuck up like that. They're not made for little people. Let me just tell you, they're not made for little people. So I am... <laughs> Sorry, too much information. I just share too much sometimes. I need to learn to stop. <laughs> but I am really honoured and I'm so excited to be joined by my lovely friend and where I started my crafting journey as well because Sarah was the assistant manager at the time. Hello, Sarah. Hi. Are you all right, darling? Yeah. Oh, it's yes, lovely for you to join us. I'm really excited about this because we're going to get to know you a little bit more. Obviously, I know a lot about you already. We'll keep that bit to ourselves. We'll not share it too much. <laughs> but it's lovely to have you. Are you at home or in the store today? I'm at home today. You're at home today. Have you got your lovely, like, like fluorescent purple background going off there in the background? I remember last no. time. No. <laughs> it's not working. That was in the craft house, isn't it, then, when you had that gorgeous purple light-up background there? Anyway, how are you, Sarah? Are you all right? 
I'm very well, thank you. Right, so we're going to do a little bit, I'm going to do a little bit of a question and answer that kind of thing with you because this is really weird, but I want you to tell us, because there's obviously people that may not have caught the Craft House show and that didn't get to see you and your amazing talent because you are a very talented lady as well as the manager now at the Chesterfield store. Uh, but give us a little bit of background um, about yourself and, um, you know, your role at Crafters Companion. Well, I've, I've always been a crafty person. Um, I used to run my own craft business before Jockey Crafts had him. Um, so, when I had my daughter, that's when I decided to, for a job. The role at Crafters Companion people, a friend said, oh, they're looking for people who are making a new craft shop with Chesterfield. So I applied and... Uh, the rest is history, as they say. <laughs> It is indeed, because I remember, that's where I met you actually, at the interview stage, when I thought it was the open day. Another story, we'll talk about that another time. <laughs> but yeah, that's where I got to meet you, where you, uh, along with Gov at the time, who was the manager then, invited me along for an interview, if I remember rightly, and that's where I got to meet you as well. And then it is, like you say, the rest is history, because how many years is it now since the store's been open? Nearly five years. I was just going to say, because it's coming up to five years where we've been with the company. I think you're celebrating the fifth year first, aren't you? Because it, you started okay. just a bit before us. Yeah, so it, that is, I'm running, honestly, when I think about five years, how quick that has all gone. Uh, but yeah, absolutely. But it is, it's an, been an amazing ride, an amazing journey. And I know that you yourself uh, especially have. Although sadly, Last year, we had to have a little bit, because of the world of the way it was, we had to have a little bit of, um, um, what's the right word, break, where we had to close the stores, which unfortunately not just affected us, it affected lots of other people um, across the globe, not just in, in England. Um, so tell, tell me a little bit more, what have you been getting up to? Because obviously it was a long time that the store was closed. Um, share with us what you got up to, because I know you are truly a very talented craft um, you should be a craft expert, let me just tell you, because you really have got amazing talent. What, tell us what you got up to while uh, the store was closed. Well, ma mainly through the summer I was colouring, I could do that out in the garden. I, I've oh. got every pen. <laughs> oh my days. <laughs> These are beautiful. Sarah, the colouring is just outstanding. Have you drawn these images or these images that you... <laughs> but, but, um, they're I, I stunning. Oh, that, that, those posters, that's a new hobby I've got. Um, I've been making some personalised gifts. Oh my goodness, they are absolutely beautiful. And oh, look, oh, well, I know this little face. She's grown up somewhat since I've last seen her, but that's yeah. our lovely little Lucy. Yeah, so me and Lucy, well, well the kids have been off doing a lot of crafting. Oh, gosh, she's so grown up, Sarah. <laughs> Yes, yes. She's grown up, but she's very talented. She's following her mummy's footsteps, let me just tell you. That colouring is outstanding. You really, truly are. And I, and I know, because like I said, I do know you, and I know you've had a passion, um, very passionate about our Spectrum Raw products, especially our alcohol markers, so I know that you love them. And it's clear to see your talent with all those beautiful makes that you've uh, that you just shared with us. So did you say that you sell them as well? Um. I've been making some mugs and things, um, so yeah, that's a new hobby. I've, it, here's one with my lovely dog. Oh. oh, that's so cute. I love it. Oh, that's, that is absolutely brilliant. So that's what you've been doing, obviously, while the store was shut. But now, now we're in a little bit of a, well, where we can see that light at the end of the tunnel. And the stores have been open now for a couple of weeks now, haven't they? What's it, what's it been like being back at work? What's all the girls? How's Leslie and Alison and, and the two Alisons, sorry? How, how are all the team doing? Are they all, um, how are you enjoying being back at work? Oh, we're, we're so glad to be back, and I think the hardest thing about being away from work is not seeing people, and yeah. working in the shop is the community and all our lovely customers, um, and we've got a great team, and just to see them again is, is great. 
Oh, lovely. So you're back up and operating. Is it back to seven days a week? Yes, yeah, yeah. we're open seven days a week. Yeah, um, so, so and, and have, have the classes started up yet or is that something that's going to be down a little bit later down the pipeline? Yeah, that, that's probably um, down the pipeline, but we are looking at what we could do. Um, so hopefully later on, maybe in a few months, we can get that back up and running. You're going, to You're going to pencil me in because I want to come and take a class. Yeah. Honestly, I want to come and take a class. I feel like I've missed you guys so much. I am going to come and visit the store, though. So now I know you're back open seven days a week. I am going to come back and see you guys because I do genuinely miss you. You know how much I love that place. I still have such, <laughs> such love and fond memories there. It, I can't believe it's been over two years since I've last been working in the store, but it's uh, it holds special memories to me. So I'm going to give it a little plug because um for anybody who doesn't know where the store is it's at dobby's garden center which is just off junction 30 on the m1 if i remember rightly i'm trying to remember now <laughs> sarah the old gray matter um but yeah it's inside there isn't it so for anybody yeah. who's in the area please do go and pay sarah and the gang a visit go and enjoy the experience because it's absolutely fabulous we've got the screen there with all the opening times because we do have two other stores we have rachel and her team at evesham and then we have bex at boundary mill which is like a concession store inside uh, inside the boundary mill so Check out those times. There are our stores where you can go and pick up lots of crafty goodies. Sarah, it's been too short and sweet. It always is. It always is. I never have enough time. I could spend the whole show with you. But it's been... <laughs> no, I could spend two hours chatting. I really could. You know me. You know me, producer Johnny, and Sarah knows me really well. I do like to have a good old natter. Uh, but um, definitely, <laughs> definitely, it's been a pleasure to have you on the show. And um, I, I, I can't wait to come and see you. I'm going to make sure you're there, though, when you because I want to come and have a, a big socially distanced hug if we can uh, and I'll come, and, I'll come and see you guys very soon so thank you very much Sarah for sharing spending a little bit of time with us and sharing your makes it's been lovely to see you and I will see you again soon thank you right then so I am going to throw you back over because it's going to talk a little bit more about the craft vault items that we've got on the show while I hot fat it uh, hot fat it hot <laughs> I just knew. Hot footage wow. back over to the demo area uh, to carry on with the rest of the demos for the rest of the show. I'm not going to lie, before they told, before I came here, they said, well, you're going to work with Debbie, she's experienced, <laughs> learn everything off her. So make sure you fluff lines. Very good. Taking the notes. Uh, a lot of love there for Sarah in our Chesterfield store. Wow, for Kay, she says, wow, Sarah, those are fantastic, beautiful drawings. Charlotte Clark on YouTube, awesome colouring, so pretty. And actually, I think we've got a new star of the show. A lot of love for Lucy. Kay says, Lucy is adorable. Love heart emoji. Loving it. Right, it's time for one of my favourite items I've seen here on Craft Vault in a long time. It's time to have a look at these wonderful sparkle pens. These these are absolutely fantastic. There they are. There we are. There we are. There we are. Right. Yeah. No, no, the other way. Other way. Other way. Other way. There we are. There they are. I've got to work backwards, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Now, we've lost the camera on it. There it is. These are the wonderful sparkle pens. I was like a crab. I'm so sorry. They're going mental in my ear. I'm left and right. We've lost it again. Back. And they're going back. That's all right. Be there. The I'll move to the other side, there we are. The other side, there we are. That's it, there it is, good, good, good. She's very good at keeping up. These are the wonderful sparkle glitter brush pen. Professionals here, I've been here two days, we're learning, there we are. Right, I'm so sorry, Charlotte. These are the wonderful sparkle glitter brush pens. Autumn, 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 winter, you've set something off now, Debbie, with six markers. Autumn, fall if you're the state side. Don't snigger, like no one can hear you, troublemaker. £12.49. $16 for, I've broken sweat, I am sweating, I'm not gonna lie to you. $16.47. And don't forget, if you are part of Club Inspire, you get an extra 20% off. Right, I'm back in right there. Hey, uh, right, Debbie, take over, because I'm gonna have a cup of tea. <laughs> get me a tea, tea please. Do you tea, know, yeah. I'm just gonna say, is there a coffee going spare? <laughs> is there a coffee going spare? It's a lot of hard work this week. Craig, I'm gonna take my hat off to you, because my goodness, this is a lot more harder than it actually looks, but I'm having the time of my life, so, 
don't come back just yet. <laughs> but literally, I'm going to talk you through one of my favourite products. And I have to do that, you know, that draw dropping moment again when I see the price of these today. This is a fabulous price. Oh, is this half price again? Half price Another half, half price, price item. Off. It just blows my mind every time. Now, you're going to absolutely love these pens. These are our sparkle pens. Now, I don't know if George has seen these before. I have. I've just seen the packaging. You've seen the packaging? When I wasn't blocking it. And... <laughs> They looked brilliant in the packaging, so the packaging looked exciting. I'm very excited to see these. Yeah, because these are our glitter markers, our glitter pens, our sparkle pens. They have got the most incredible, vibrant ink in there. They're a water-based product again. So straight away when you're water-based, you know exactly where we're going to be able to go and take these, not just colouring and brush lettering and lots of different techniques that you can do with them. These are just phenomenal and they come in a pen form. Now, these are the autumn winter colours. Now, on here we've got the most beautiful colours. We've got smoked. Sm <laughs> I'll start again. We've got smoked quartz. We've got the beautiful <laughs> olive jade. I'm trying to put my best accent here, George. Don't we are slipping into the Barnsley dulcet tones there. Uh, we've got harvest moon. We've got starry sky, which is just beautiful. Holly leaf and red berry. These are vibrant colours. Now I've left one uh, unprimed because I want to be able to show you how to do this because I don't think we've done it in a while. So I've taken the colours. They're already primed, these pens. But what you've got is this beautiful pen that you can see here. And you've got this little, what I call a little bella, belly band around the middle. It's a yellow little band. <laughs> belly band. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to give it a little shake because Sorry what you've got in here is your water with your ink and your beautiful ultra fine glitter now it's not in your face glitter this one no it's not like your pantomime dame glitter kind of stuff i don't wear glitter do you not because i get it in my eyeballs excuse and me i get it in my eyeballs <laughs> and then sometimes i swallow it and i'm coughing at it the little belly band it's like the glitter's got a gastric band yeah it's like a gastric yeah, band for good glitter. way of describing it uh, george a good way of describing it but what we're doing you i don't know if you've noticed i'm giving it a good old workout i'm giving it a good old shaky shake it's like my arms going my goodness the bingo wings are going there let's just workout. hold that tight let me just hold my arm tight a minute i'm just gonna <laughs> yeah keep it in a tight shot <laughs> Belly bands and bingo wings. But yeah. I am giving it a good old shake because what I'm doing is shaking the ink <laughs> and the glitter together in this bottom barrel. And I'm just going to unscrew that top and I'm going to remove the belly band off there. I would be saving that, the little yellow band, I'd be saving that for little mixed media projects. Um, or if you just want to throw it in the bin, by all means throw it in the bin. But at the minute, there's no ink coming through there because it needs to be pierced. So we're going to pop the top back on. We're going to screw it now. I had a little, uh, I had a little pierce then, so you literally screw that down onto the top of the barrel. So I'm just going to take off the top for a second, and you screw that tightly on. Now I've already started to give it a little shake, so you can see here some of the ink has come down into the barrel. Now the brush itself is a beautiful. Can you see it? Look it's already that. the capillary action is already working. I love it. So I'm just giving that a little nudge. I'm going to bring in some watercolor cardstock because this is uh, a product that is water based. So best premium results watercolor cardstock and that capillary action has already started moving where literally now it just comes through now i'm going to cover all of that actually because i just want to be able to show you how gorgeous that ultra fine glitter is and i'm going to give it a little um a little bit of a blast with my heat tool so let's just pop that on and give it a nice coverage uh, and just dry that off because what you get there then is that beautiful uh, sparkle running through there now it probably might not show you on camera but i'm going to try my best to show it yeah so let's just bring that down there let's just pop that there now i don't know if you can see but can you catch the sparkle yes. that beautiful i'm going to come up a little bit closer wait a minute my camera angle i'll tell you what i'll hold it there i'll bring it back no i'll bring it forward uh, that's it i'll bring it back again and I'll do a little bit of bending. We are making Charlotte see. work hard today, aren't we? I am we? making we are not it work. Making it so I think we've got, have we gone a bit fuzzy? Oh, oh, there. Is it not focusing? It's probably because I'm trying to move it, Charlotte. So, oh, there you go. There, there you is. go. There no it is. Don't move. No one breathe. There we are. That beautiful, beautiful sparkle. Now, that's that, that was how easy it was to prime a pen. We, um, whenever you're storing these, can I just say, whenever you're storing these, what are you lot giggling about in my it's ear? It's me. I just went, look at it. I'm really excited on it. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're never going to work again together, Debbie. They're not going to allow us to be in the building together. 
Yeah, when you're storing your pens, you can store them upright because if you store them the other way, what can happen is the ink can come through so that when you open it up, it can splatter a little bit of ink about and that's not what you want to do. Whenever you haven't used them though for a while, so I know these other pens have been sat for a while, you do need to give it, you don't have to prime it again, but you do need to give it a little shake again because you need the glitter, that ultra fine glitter that will be settled at the bottom, you need to shake it in with that ink. So always remember that when you come to use them. Uh, so I'm just going to take another piece piece of uh, cardstock. I'm going to grab my blue brush because I've got a blue brush especially for this one uh, and I'm going to just pop down now a bit of that colour and now oh. we talked about it being water based so I've just popped a bit of colour onto there. I'm going to dip this into my water. Now this is, I'm not too bothered about this one but I've got a bit of tissue paper for this uh, but literally now you can just, well literally just take it and spread that oh. onto, and I'm just gonna add a little bit more water, but absolutely beautiful, where you can create some beautiful scenes. Now, I'm just gonna try and get rid of my finger mark there for a second. I'm gonna get, I mean, look at that straight away. One That's nice. little bit just at the top, and you can see just how far that covers. Now, I'm gonna hold this down, so I'm gonna hold it down with my pen. I'm trying to stay, not, you'll not know me very well just yet, George, but I do like getting inky fingers. Right. So I do tend to get like covered in ink, but it doesn't bother me too much because I quite enjoy that. Right. <laughs> If that's what you're in, if that's what you like, I mean, not one to judge. So again, look at this. Now, I'm, I'll try. Let me just move that out of the way for a second. Oh. But can you see Ooh. that beautiful, intense... Oh, there you go. But you don't lose any of it, even though I've watered it down with the water yeah. and giving it that beautiful uh, gradient effect, that lovely ombre effect. It literally hasn't lost any of that beautiful sparkle. But because it is water-based, this is when you can start to have a play. So let me grab one of my fine brushes bit of water and I'm going to do a bit of a splattering technique which is one of the techniques that we call a faux bleaching so fake faux bleaching. bleaching yeah fake bleaching to me and you George. okay fake oh it's fr the Frenchy f-a-u-x that's the one yeah, that's good. the one I can um, and then you can leave that on then at the moment it doesn't look very much but the longer you leave the water on the top of that ink the more it absorbs into that cardstock and then you just take your tissue paper and literally now, peel that off and look at that. Oh. It's like a galaxy. Ooh. It's like a little galaxy effect. But look, we haven't lost any of that sparkle. How beautiful is that? I think I might go back in with my little brush again. And I might just uh, go a little bit like a little, uh, we'll have a little bit of a moon going off there. And again, longer you leave it, the more it lifts and soaks. But look at that. How beautiful. Look at that. It looks like... Oh, I really, I get really excited every single time. It never fails to blow my mind every single time we use these. But look how gorgeous that looks. It's and nice. again, you could just then start to add this as a background, or you could put things on there like um, stamps and silhouette stamps. Yeah. Um, what about, do you know the little um, slider cards where we've got the moon? Do yes. you know, not the moon, the, uh, the little rocket. You could add that to this and then start to create and build up a little but I love that that just never ever fails to amaze me and then there's other things that you can do with it as well because they are a water-based product it means you can do things like a simple stamping technique so I'm going to try and get as much as I can in here and really show you the versatility of these pens so yes you can color in with them and I will do that in a moment uh, I'm going to give this a little shake again which color shall we use for this let's have the green let's have a red and the blue we'll, have, we'll, we'll mix this up a little bit again a great product price uh, all I'm gonna do though George yep. is I'm gonna literally take the brush now this is a beautiful Japanese brush uh, nib that we've got so it gives a lot of fluidity lots of movements that you can do in this so again I'm just gonna cover the ink uh, cover my stamp up in places with this gorgeous ink and it really is beautiful do a little bit of mixing and matching as well with the colors so you can build up a little bit of a, a different color Oh, look, oh, my goodness me. I do get excited about the smallest of things. Uh, but what I'm going to do now is, excuse me a moment while I go a bit heavy breathing technique. <laughs> <coughs> I do it every time. Don't breathe in, Debbie. Don't swallow the glitter. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Little luff technique. <laughs> And then literally just stamp on and look how beautiful that looks. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. I'll show you something that we'll do with it in a moment. I'm just going to bring in another sheet because right. we've still got loads of ink left on this stamp that we can use. Um, I could wet, I could do the, let me do it again. 
<coughs> Excuse me. Come back here. Oh, oh, people. I love it. <laughs> I'm just giving it a little moisten. That's the word I'm looking for. A little moist. A little moist. A little moisten. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> but literally, <laughs> you're going to be able to have. Then I mean, look how much ink I've got on here. Joking aside, look that, at this. Yeah, yeah, that I'm is creating. Good. This is just with my breath. <laughs> like, pass it out. Get ambulance on standby just in case. She's <laughs> set John's. What is but there? I'm still going, George. I know. Look, I'm two impressed. prints just with that one. I've still got some ink left on here. I'm not bringing my pens back in. I'm not colouring. I'm going to go back to my little mystifier, my little D mi mi it's mister. Back. And I'm going to give that a little squirt because my breath's run out. I really apologise, but I can't, I can't do any more with it. Uh, but again, all we're going to do is just look how much I've got out of this one little scribble and I've still got more. Shall we, shall we keep on going? It blo honestly, when I say it blows my mind, these pens are incredible. If you've ever seen me do the shaving foam technique, um, you will know that you can do these with the pens as well because all you do is drop a little bit of ink into that shaving technique, yeah. uh, shaving foam, sorry. But look at this. This started life as one stamp. And then we did the background stamp and then we did the spritzer and the spritzer. And when I say I've still got loads of ink left on there, I could carry on going and going without having to add any more. So we're talking about something really versatile. But what we're also talking about is a water based product, which means I've just got this one here again. Already looks a bit, I always say hearty farty to this, but I don't mean it in a horrible way. It gives it that lovely hearty feel. And yeah. literally you just spritz again, George, because it's water based. Look how you can move that ink going in. You can splodge it, splodge it around and create something really quite gorgeous and water technique. I mean, look how beautiful that looks. That Again, nice. these pens are phenomenal. There are so many things that you can do with these pens. You're gonna be blown away with them. They're a gorgeous set of colors. You've got really vibrant inky colors there with that ultra fine glitter that's in there. You can do your backgrounds. You can do your coloring. You can stamp with them. You can do the shaving foam technique the salt technique there's lots of techniques that are out on the internet check out our youtube uh, tutorials or check out the crafters tv um, i myself have done one before with these where you can show you lots and lots of different ways that you can use them but let's not forget they are a beautiful pen you can color in your stamped images so you can stamp an image and color them in and you get the most beautiful gorgeous glitter sparkle effect I can't stress enough, that price is absolutely phenomenal to create, get yourself a set of pens that have got so much versatility in them that I know they're going to fall in love and come back and want more and more and more, absolutely. let me tell you. Absolutely. There is a lot of love for those sparkle pens. Karen, thank you for showing us all these techniques this, uh, techniques this morning. Debbie, Kay, I love my sparkle pens. So fun to use them. You can never have enough sparkle, can you? And uh, I think Laura on YouTube sums it up nicely. Nice moon. That's it. That's it. Thanks. Uh, actually, those butterflies, uh, Kay said, they would make a, gr a nice note card gift set. And yes. she is right. At that price, you can't go wrong. £12.49, $16.47. And remember, if you are part of Club Inspire, which I'm sure you all are, and you are platinum, 20% extra on top of that. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Right, next we are going to be looking at these metallic pencils. I'm very excited about these. It is it's brilliant. These are metallic pencils. Absolutely fantastic. Now, you're getting 12 elements with these. Here they are, £6.49. $7.47. I mean, fantastic. There they are, these metallic pencils. Brilliant. Look at those colours. Absolutely stunning. They are brilliant. And our lovely Debbie is going to, in a few seconds, is going to show us them. And as well, if your pencils aren't your thing, you're thinking, oh, I do like markers. Well, don't you worry. We've got metallic markers as well. Check these out. Metallic markers priced at, uh, what is that? I can't remember. I've got my, uh, £5.99. $8.00. 47 on the metallic markers look at that and like we said before you are going to be getting an extra 20 percent off on platinum on the markers absolutely fantastic here they are uh, the gallery is getting cake i can hear them getting cake in the gallery they're getting chocolate cake What's going off i can hear chocolate cake hey do you know no, you're delivering cake 
Wow. Is there, I'm, 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 still, still we want a bit of chocolate cake? I like I chocolate cake. Chocolate cake. We've got 15 minutes. Just make sure you can get it. Thanks, Ben. Go on with it. <laughs> yeah, cheers, mate. Thanks a lot. Uh, I do like this place. Every time I've been up here, this cake. There was a Victorian sponge cake yesterday. There was uh, some other cake for someone's birthday when I first came. I love cake, as you can tell. Um, and we can't below, but we don't mention him because he's in trouble. Um, but yeah, we've got loads of metallic pens and markers for you. In fact, actually, Debbie, can you show us how? Because in the box, they look good. Let's have a look at these metallic pens and markers i will be happy to share with you george especially but just tell them in the gallery tell them if they're listening chocolate cake for me and george please yeah otherwise we'll not continue that. with the where's rest of the day cake? where's our cake I can our bring cake? it in the studio come on i don't care if you're eight months pregnant bring it in <laughs> Now then, I am going to talk about these two fabulous different <laughs> sets as well. These are two different kind of metallics. You have a pencil form and you have a pen form. Now I'm going to talk about, shall we talk about the pens first? <laughs> yes, please. I'm just going to move the pencils to one side just for a second because these are our metallic uh, pens. Now I'm going to get all of them out of their packaging because these are fabulous dual tipped markers. Let me see if I can get them all out there for a second, George. Dual tip markers that give you beautiful, smooth, highly reflective metallic finish, yes. and you're gonna love them. But what needs to, what you need for this bit, um, George, is you need, and Debbie's just realised because she hasn't got it out. I need some black cardstock. You need some black I've already got some She's chopped got it. up. I have because I want to show you. It really comes to life when you use um, black cardstock yes you can use them on white though so please don't get me wrong when i say this but i want to show you how fabulous these are now the dual tipped part of these are one where you've got a lovely brush nib and one where you've got a little bit more of a finer point so when i say the finer point oh. it's a real fine point oh. and this is your brush one which means you can do lots of techniques like things to do with your brush lettering so if you love blush brush lettering i always get this I, honestly i get this little bit <laughs> mixed up <laughs> brush lettering then these are the ones for you because you've got the fluidity with that brush where you can literally start to have a little play now i'm not a blo brush lettering <laughs> oh, good. goodness We're me i am <laughs> i am not an expert when it comes to brush lettering but if you are, you've got these fabulous pens that really do mean that you can have a little old play with them. Now, again, you can see just by turning those, you've got that fluidity of the uh, beautiful uh, brush nib that's on there. So you've got that lovely where you can literally go from thick. So let's turn that to thick to thin literally again really fabulous now these are water-based as well so they're a water-based ink which means that you can do lots of um water-based techniques with them as well george so yeah. again really fabulous the only difference here is that you have to do that when it's it's wet when right. it's wet wet so if it dries then let's just take let me just take i need another brush george please excuse me that's all right brush. you get your brushes I've got my brushes. She's got the brushes. So you can see now that that's dry. So some of that's not moving as what well. Oh, I can actually see it's going. Mm. I say it's not moving, but I can see it's moving a little bit. But what you've got is that lovely. Um, let me put it with. Oh, let me do it with brush nib. Let's pop the brush nib. And because you've got the m m movement there, because it's a water based, again, you can do things like um, use these for um, a little bit of. Um, water soluble uh, techniques that's right. the word i'm looking for that's yep. the word i'm looking for uh, george so again these are absolutely fabulous um pens now i say pens wrong top debbie wrong top dual tipped you've got beautiful colors in here as well so we've got that gorgeous um antique pearl and i say antique pearl it's purple to me you've got this beautiful rose gold you have a lovely bronze you've got a gorgeous vintage satin which is like a lovely pinky tone uh, you've also got up aged copper and you've got a got a this one i mean i adore this do you know if you're writing cards that are yes. um that, have i got the wrong color here i think i might have got the oh no i haven't there we go you can see that beautiful color coming through but absolutely beautiful beautiful pens and again when you start to use them on things like um and i've just all i've done with this one is can you see my butterfly background yeah i used our um sticky ink and i say sticky ink it is our translucent 
clear ink pad and I used a pot of black embossing powder uh, to create this and I just stamped that image off and preset it. That's what you heard me earlier on doing, George. Yeah, the right yeah. You heard me, yeah. So again, all you do is you take this in and now you can start to colour with them. And because you've got that lovely brush nib, you can get into big places, but you can also go into the fine details because you've got these, I mean, they dry beautifully. The sheen on these are sensational. And it just means that when you start to use them on things like black, it just makes them pop and it really does. And I'm just going to lay down a few colours because I'm conscious time. Where does the time go when we're We've in here? We've had a lot of fun. That's what it is. Oh, honestly, it just flies by, doesn't it, George? Mm -hmm. but, it does. Yeah, these are just absolutely beautiful. And again, you can see that gorgeous gold on there. Really lovely. Just take your time. Uh, but you can do things like colouring onto black cardstock. But you can bring these in for things like your um, acetate. So yep. I've coloured this butterfly, I've popped it onto some acetate and you can do exactly the same where you take your pen and you colour this in. So you can either do it from the front or to get your better results, do it from the back. But when you start to colour up, and I'll just pop the one colour down for this, George, so that we can I can show you a little bit. We've got lots, again, tutorials on there. I would just say while they're at this price and you've never tried them before, then please do. But can you see now that that colour on the back there, if you use my hand, you can see how gorgeous yeah. that looks on some heat resistant acetate as well. So that's the pens. Yeah, because... They give you that metallic marker Can we have a look at the effect. pencils? Well... I'm very I'm, excited, because Dee's bought the metallic pencils, but she's not used them yet, so she's looking forward to seeing this. Now, I adore, I'm not going to lie, I adore the pencils. Let's move that to one side just for a second. Let me bring these in. So these pencils, I want you to have a quick look at these colours. We've got pink, violet, purple, yellow, rose gold, blue, light blue, green, mica or mica, nickel, silver and gold. And these give you highly reflective colours. They're richly pigmented. And I'm just going to do this again very quickly to show you. You've got these beautiful uh, pigmented metallic pens that give the most gorgeous, gorgeous effects. And again, I'm just going to bring in another butterfly because I've got one down here, George, already. Yep. Uh, but you lay your colour down. Now, I'm not going to lie. Can we have favourites? Can I, am I allowed to have a favourite producer, Johnny? Yeah, I feel, because I, I love these pencils. When I first, when these pencils first came into the store, I fell in love. And when I say I bought more than one set, I actually bought six sets, and I'm not lying. I absolutely love them. I bought a couple of sets for my daughter uh, because she was poorly at the time, so I bought her a, a set of pencils. Um, but they're absolutely stunning pencils, and you've got this beautifully gorgeous metallic sheen to them and they are absolutely incredible now i don't know if you can see that beautiful sheen but you can do things like blend with them as well so you can use a couple of colors and blend but you've got this i, I can't describe I, I, well but went to the better word it gives you that beautiful it's like a but you know like that butter technology what do they call that butter um hot knife through butter kind of thing but not that with this hot knife through butter no 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 i'm <laughs> trying to think of that oh i'm so sorry my words are going now that's George. Right. Go on. it's that beautiful smooth butter like texture yes, when yes. you lay it down that's probably the word that's the probably the word it's i'm like looking for like. yeah yeah so it literally but you can see like just how silk. gorgeous they are it is oh who said that in me Producer Johnny. He's good. Thank you. It is. They are just exquisite. And I know that you're going to love these pencils. And I'm just doing this with a couple of the colours. But I want you to see just how gorgeous these colours are. And when I say that you can blend with them, you can mix your colours. So I've taken that blue and the purple and literally brought these together. I'll do it again on this side. So I pop a bit of blue down. Then I'm going in with this lovely pinky purple and I'm blending them. And it's effortless. But honestly, just stunning. I'm going to do that again, actually, because I like this technique. Uh, but again, I, I want you to just experience how beautiful these pencils are. They're absolutely stunning. And I'm not going to lie, I've just looked up at the screen again. I can't get over that price. I what know. an incredible price this is Six today. £6.49, $7.47. And like I keep saying, if you're part of Club Inspire, extra 20% off if you plant them. I mean, grief. look at what you're getting for the price. Exactly. It's brilliant. Exactly. And honestly, you, the experience that you have with these pencils, I can assure you, I, I won't just be buying one tin. <laughs> 
I just, no. uh, at that price, there would be, these are going to be a great gift for someone. Yeah. This is not your cheap um, high street couple of quick, do you know what I mean? When yeah, I say yeah. that, these are artist quality. Uh, this is what you come to expect from our Spectrum Noir range. And these are no exception. They are utterly stunning pencils to work with. Um, they lay down that beautiful metallic sheen really easily. And like I said, you can do a spot of blending with your colors. And I'm mixing two very different colors here together. Um, but again, just just have a play with them. And who was it that said that she'd not she'd bought them but not done anything? Uh, with them it yet? was the wonderful D Maddox on YouTube. D, get your pencils out. Get your pencils out and just have a good old play. I'm going to come up a little bit closer so you can see, but can you see that beautiful sheen? Yeah, look at that. Um, honestly, I can't describe. You have to really get these home and play with them. I'll keep that still there, Charlotte. I promise I won't butcher, <laughs> butcher it around. I'll just keep it still for you. But again, just how incredible is that beautiful sheen? They are simply stunning. Yeah, and me, Amelia, Olosa, I love these pencils. Absolutely fantastic. Loads of pencils. And, and I love uh, from Sue thanks for the advice on storing the pencils you know look she's looking at the stories now she speaks loads of love for those pencils i mean at that price like you say debbie they are ridiculously cheap look at what you're getting for half price absolutely a bargain a bargain if i've ever seen one but i think even the thing is the quality you know these are brilliant pencils for the price and i don't think they are amazing don't you debbie oh honestly George, um, I want to buy you some. I want you to try them because honestly, it, these yeah. are absolutely they're just stunning pencils. Yeah. You're going to really love them. Anybody get them. And like I said, gift pot, you know, I know we don't like talking about the word Christmas, but you know, these are great little, yes. li little fillers, stocking fillers. Um, but at this price, I mean, come on, this is just a sensational price. I don't think I've ever seen them this low, um, but a great way of getting your, uh, oh, let me go in with this gorgeous purple. Let's have a purpley one. Uh, do you know, I can't stop now, George. This is me. I, I, Are you I a colouring coma? I, I, I do go into a colouring coma because I love colouring. Um, I, you'll love, honestly, you'll love them. You will adore well, them. Well, Debbie, she on Facebook, she's I've bought these for all of my five granddaughters and gave them each a black pad. They love them. Oh. Debbie on Facebook, she absolutely loves those. Oh, Debbie, yeah. what a great idea. A great idea. And I bet they absolutely love them. I bet they really, really enjoy them. They really, I bet, I bet they love them. Yeah. Uh, look, I'm going to have to put my pencils down. But I got, it, down, I got it finished. Not I got it finished. But look at that gorgeous, <laughs> that gorgeous. That is brilliant. <laughs> you win that exam. It's like, pencils down, please. <laughs> pencils down. Exam's finished. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I don't want to carry on colouring. <laughs> <laughs> right, love them. Look at that. Look at that deal. Metallic pencil, 12 elements, six pounds, 49, seven dollars, 47. This is your last chance to get them. So if you own your basket, make sure you are getting them straight away. They are brilliant. Don't forget the markers and the pencils as well. They are, do you know what, Debbie? I've loved this show today. Two days in, we're loving it. And you are loving it as well. Um, Oh, Deb, another Debbie said, Debbie, I've loved this show today. Great job, George. Thanks, Debbie. Aww. And a question for you about the metallic pencils. Lisa Batgirl on YouTube, how do you sharpen them? The, oh, so that's a great way. Do you remember I talked about at the beginning with the Aqua Blends? Exactly the same. So keep your pencils straight move the sharpener so let the sharpener do all the hard work and it won't break any of the lead and that applies to any pencil that you own in your collection whether it be ours or whether it be the pencils that you have so move the sharpener keep the pencils straight and enjoy those pencils because let me tell you mwah, they are absolutely beautiful one of my favorite products that we've ever done in our metallic ranges and I, I look i still use them to this day a lot and that is why i did buy a lot although at that price i think i might have to go and buy some well more. i think you're right though debbie they are a brilliant price well i'll tell you what we are wrapping up towards the end of today's wake up call remember coming up launch day at 3 p.m is it 10 a.m eastern standard it is i'm learning i'm getting good at this and tomorrow i'm not going to be here tomorrow i know you're really sad at home don't worry because ben's going to be here back with our lovely debbie here for wake up call and tomorrow we want to see your random crafts of kindness now if you're going what is that what is that we want to see your crafts that you've made for people just because you have, just because you thought of being a bit kind. I know that a lot of you have been making crafts, especially with lockdowns, and thank you. You've been making loads of little rainbows and things, so send them in. Use your place, email studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk across the bottom there, so make sure you are getting those in. Have you made any crafts like that for us, Debbie, over the last few weeks? Have you been making anything random crafts of kindness? What's yours? Oh, do you know, I haven't. That's a terrible thing to say, but I haven't, because I'm sometimes so busy with work that I don't get the chance to. However, 
I've had plenty from lots of people. I had a gorgeous poem sent just recently by a lovely lady called Nancy uh, about my granddaughter, which was the most sweetest thing, a beautiful poem uh, that I've shared with her. And it's just, that for me is that lovely, it's that random act of kindness that just touches the heart. And that's not the only thing. We here get lots of lovely things from our gorgeous viewers um, all the time. We're always getting lovely cards made for us, gifts sent to us. So honestly, those kind of things just really do make a difference difference and it is that kindness that act of kindness that just puts a smile on your face so I again have had a lovely time this is uh, I'm getting quite used to this wake up call with Debbie <laughs> <laughs> I, have enjoy, I have that enjoyed it good. and it's been lovely as well having George by my side today. Um, a little bit sad that you're going home George I know, too. I'm going back to Barnsley. Yes. Uh, do you need anything doing? Do you need anything well, watering while I'm Well, the grass needs home? cutting. So the grass is all right. Talking of random acts of kindness, the grass needs cutting, the dog needs a walk and since we're only stone throw away from each other, Cannot get over that still. I it's know. one of those wow factors like that small world thing. I know. You know that absolutely is. So yeah, if you if you don't you don't mind doing that, yeah. I'm gonna be here for a little bit longer, you see. So I'm here again tomorrow. So come and join me tomorrow for the wake up call, 12 p.m. UK time. Johnny? Seven. Seven a.m. I've got it. seven a.m. <laughs> 7 a.m. Eastern time. We're getting there. And four, was it four a.m. Pacific? 5 a.m. Pacific time. I will get used to it. By tomorrow, I'm going to have nailed those times down. I hope you've had a lovely time. Go over and grab yourself some bargains from that craft vault, but come and join us for the launch day and the launch party here today with myself and Ben. So for the loads of you who can't join us, have a great day. Enjoy yourselves. Those who are coming, I'll see you later.